Yo, what's good with y'all? It's Key Major. Today we're breaking a sample down in the style of Don Tolliver's new album. Let's get straight to it. So this sample is very ambient, has a lot of sense, kind of has like a Mike Dean type of vibe. So as you can tell, I used Analog Lab for the whole sample, and the bank I used is Loner's Sample Supply. I'll leave a link in the description down below. It's completely free, and it comes with a bunch of analog sounds and a bunch of other free stuff. But the first sound I added is the Angel Eyes, and I laid down this pattern right here. So as you can see, it's very simple. It's just these two chords and then I copied it over the whole thing. The way I came up with these two chords is I first started with this pattern right here. Just a simple triad and then I copied it over. I took the G down and then I put the B up. This helped capture a lot more of a ambient kind of dark type of feel. And then all I did is I took the E and the F sharp and I copied it up an octave. And yeah, it's that simple. That's how I came up with these chords. For the effects, I added half time to make it slower and pitch it an octave down. Then I added RC20 to make it sound more vintage. I added the vinyl three preset and then I turned the mix down to 54. Sound shifter to pitch it up four. And then lastly, an EQ, just taking out the lows, making room for a synth bass. Sounds a lot more ambient and a lot more dark. Next, I took these same chords and I copied it into another analog lab. This preset I use is Analog Spark. So it's the exact same chords and I use the exact same effects. And obviously it's a arpeggiator, so it's playing, you know, multiple notes going down the scale. And then next, inside the same bank, I use the Suba. Very simple counter melody. All I did is I used the previous midis to kind of help guide me. For the effects, all I used is pancake to pan it left and right, and then a EQ just taking down this one harsh frequency. The second to last song I added is the pianist. A very vintage kind of piano sound. And then I just played this little pattern out. Very similar to the first counter melody I laid down. Just using the notes to help guide me as well. For the effects, I added primal tap to kind of add like a very small delay. Pancake panning left and right. This one's a lot faster though. And then an EQ cutting out all the low mids. And then down here, I'm just raising the highs. And then the last sound I added is this Bane's Mask hard bass. Very simple, just starting on the root note and then going down the scale and back up. For the effects, I added fast disc to add some distortion to it, and I just raised the highs to make the distortion pop out a little more. Lastly, I added two small accents that both come from Loner's sample supply. Like I said, this kit is free. I first used the Jumbotron. It's just a quiet texture in the background, but it does add a lot of small details. Last accent I added is the move on, and I kind of added it as a transition. So for this one, all I did is I changed the pitch to, you know, make it in key. And I just pitched it up an octave. And then if you're in FL21, you could grab the edges and just fade them in. And that's all I did to kind of create like a riser. And then on this one, I did add effects. I added ambient to reverb and then delay three to give it a delay, of course. And then EQ just cutting out the highs. Very simple, just adding very small details. Before I exported it, I added this EQ to clean it up a little bit. A sound shifter, pitching it down one semitone. And I just have this soft clipper I always have. It's basically just kind of raising the volume. And then this is the final no sample.
But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. That's how to create some type of melodies for Don Tolliver's new album. I got a bunch of video ideas coming up next. I know you guys really want that Rudda video. I'm working on that one very soon. But if you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell so you miss any more videos. Thank you guys so much for 3K. I got another free sample pack dropping very soon with another very talented sample maker. But yeah, man, thank you all for all the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.